Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and you're probably thinking, bloody hell Sam, what have you done? Well, this my friends, is a massive, yes, massive 65 inch 4K TV with HDR capability. Crazy. Now, when I was offered this, and I wanna say thank you to AO.com, that's appliancesonline.com, I will link down, down in the description below. Like, we wanna see what your thoughts on this TV are. And I was like, bloody hell, how the hell am I gonna review that? Because as you know, I review phones on a table. Like, how the hell am I gonna do that? Figured, you know what? Just do it the same way. Put a camera in front of it, show you the device, and go from there. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, on the actual remote control itself, which you probably can't see much, it's got a little smart TV icon. So when you click the smart TV, it takes you to this. Now these are all the applications you can actually download and actually run on your smart TV. So we've got Rakuten TV, France 24, YouTube Kids, my son's gonna love that. We've got Couch Play Games, Deezer, Filmbox, Viewster, Absolute Radio, some kind of games, and Cine Trailer. Like wow, quite a few. But then you go on and you've got Metro News. Tell you what, I'm not gonna go through every one of them. I'm just gonna kind of flick through some of them, you can actually see what's on there. So we've got social TV, internet browser. Yeah, as you can tell, quite a lot on there. That's just the start of all of it. So on the top, obviously they're gonna sell them more of their own TVs. This is the Philips TV, I uh, forgot to say the brand. I will turn the lights on and give you a quick look around the actual TV in a moment or two as well. And the Philips TV looks better. To be honest with you, I'm very impressed by this. Northern Lights with a Philips Ambilight. Now this TV doesn't have Ambilight, which is a little unfortunate, but for the price, again, link down below if you check out the price, you're getting a cracking TV for a cracking price. And if you like streaming, you'll love the P5. What's the P5? Not a clue. And more Ambilight. So let's just jump out of here. So I'm gonna go home. So on here, you've got your standard YouTube, which I'll show you. Let's just load up that YouTube application. It's exactly the same as the YouTube app that you get on Android TV, pretty much in every app now. So it will give you your recommended, which is those. I can continue watching some. I can jump back in. It's exactly as you'd expect, like you get on any other kind of smart TV platform for YouTube. So you've got your home, you've got your subscriptions. So let's see what's live now. So we've got MMA with Joe Rogan. We've got the Pocket Now Daily with uh, Jaime Rivera, probably saying his name completely wrong how uh, good old uh, Jaime says it. Uh, we've got TechSmart, got Gadget Match, big shout out to um, Michael Josh there. Got Mr. Philly D, so again, these are some of the ones that I actually subscribe to. So you can see there's quite a few of them there. And obviously you can then, actually here you go, you can see which ones are subscribed to here. It's super, super easy, and as you can see, look how fast it is, yeah? You see how fast that is? Very, very fast. And then you can go obviously go to your settings, see what your history is, etc., etc. Happy days. Go to search, search for what you want to search for, and happy days again. Now, if you want to go home, again on the remote, see, I'll turn the light on really quickly. So on the remote control, you probably see this here. You've got your power on, all your buttons. There's your smart TV button, your home button. TV button as well, and then you've got your different sources, which is that one there. You've got a dedicated Netflix button, which I'll show you in a moment or two as well. Again, it's all Philips. It's not a bad remote, actually. It's pretty decent. You know, built pretty decently. Let's turn that light back off, just because it looks a little better for the actual camera here. So let's click the smart TV again. And again, load you straight here. Press the home button again, brings you to this. You can jump into Netflix. It's got Amazon Prime Video, App Gallery. So I'll show you that in a sec. That's really, really cool, the app gallery. TV on demand, so you can scroll down. You can see some of the stuff you actually get to. You've got video on demand. Again, look at all at the bottom, all these different ones, like Deadpool 2, The Butterfly, Never Steady, etc., etc. Internet browser. Yes, this TV has an internet browser built in. And if you're in the UK, obviously like I am, 
You get a BBC iPlayer, ITV, Channel 4, Channel 5, Freeview, BBC, News, BBC Sport, Kids, Tetris. Put that on there for the mother. She loves playing Tetris. And then we've got the Demo Me, which I won't show you. So what I want to show you, though, is the App Gallery. Look at all these different apps. Now, to be honest with you, I was a little shocked that there's a little section there that says adult. I was like, huh? Like, really? And as you can see, we have Brazzaz, which I'm pretty sure you know what that is. <laughs> I was like, what? So I was going through it and I was like, geez, that's kind of a, yeah, it just kind of shocked me that, that they basically had porn on the TV built straight into it. It's like, oh, okay, <laughs> fair play. Whatever floats you bought for the TV. But look, you got like the different ones, so like social TV, high FM, um, any more on there that are daily motion. So obviously you can do, use daily motion, kind of go through them. You've got Chile, France 24 again. As you can see, I've put the ones that I might use the most apart from France 24. I forgot why I put that on there. You can actually pin them. So let's say I wanted to pin, and let's say, uh, pff, what do I want to pin? What can I pin? Email. Yes, you can view your email on your 65 inch TV. So you click on that and you go, okay, add it. So you click add. Now, when I go back now, go back to the smart TV, not smart TV, go to the home. If I now scroll along here, I have email, which is pretty damn cool, right? You got to me, that's pretty damn cool for a TV. So again, my son absolutely loves YouTube kids. It's awesome. So let's go back to home. And we'll show you Netflix. So let's go to me. And voila. Now, the cool thing about this is it streams 4K and HDR using Netflix and also Amazon Prime. So all you've got to do is kind of find something that offers both of them. So as you can see here, it says HDR just about there. Can we see it? That means we're gonna get some fantastic picture quality. Now the thing is, is not everything does 4K, not everything does HDR, some things are only HDR, some things are only H, you know, HD. An example, Prism Break, only in high definition, but still looks pretty fantastic on this TV. So if I just go through a few more, see if we can find any more HDR, boom, HDR, Ozark. I recommend this show, people. If you've not seen it, go watch it now. Making a Murderer, fantastic show. Both seasons, watch them. It's turned into a bit of a Netflix review now, isn't it? So they've got Marvel Collection. So as you can see, super, super easy, super, super fast. And again, it's run, you're not running like Android or like that. It's running their own base operating system. So if I press the home, it brings this up. So your Netflix stays in the background and you can go to something else. Let's say I want to go to Prime Video. So tap on Prime Video it'll load up the Prime Video app instead. Again, I'm kind of showing you some things you probably already know, but I'm just, I am honestly very shocked for the price of this TV, for the size of it, the quality of it, and the overall kind of look of it. I was very impressed, very, very impressed. So again, on here, there are some HD, there's some 4K. I think Jack Ryan, uh, Tom Clancy, Jack Ryan's in 4K. Don't think it tells you on here like it does the other ones. But anyway, so if you want to play it, just click play. And again, depends on the internet connection, it will load. Boom, Prime Original. Anyway, we don't want to get done for copyright, so we're actually going to leave that one out of there as well. So again, click home. But you're thinking, right, I want to go back to Netflix, but I don't want to do what else. Just click the Netflix button. So you click it, and then that will close down within a second or two, voila, Netflix, and it's logged me straight back in there because it knows it's me that's actually watching it right now. Right, so now if you want to go back to the TV, let's say you're watching something on cable, sky, whatever you might want to watch, satellite, click the TV button, it takes you back to the TV. Now I've got my TV box turned off, but it would take me straight back to the TV at that point. So what we're going to do now is I should show you some of the settings. So what you need to do is click the home, and I believe you go to here. There we go. So you've got your sources, which is pretty cool. So you can use Miracast straight from it. 
It's got a network, so you can actually plug a cable into it. It's got Wi-Fi built in, so this is all off Wi-Fi. USB, so you can actually plug your movies in there. You can put your, your you know, your, pic your pictures. Use a massive photo frame if you want to. Three HDMI. It's got your coax, not coax, um, component, and then your, your Billy Basic leads as well. Going up, this is your Watt TV. So you can actually record to the USB stick as well, which I think is pretty cool. All your different channels, TV guide, satellite antenna. I use a Skybox, so that's not really needed for me. Again, go back to the apps, go to search. You can search anything on the TV. Pretty cool. But then obviously you want to go across to your settings. So you've got your how-to. You can install your channels. Very, very straightforward. Picture style. So currently I've got a standard, but I could change it to movie, change it to personal. I've got vivid, natural, and back to standard. I keep it on standard because it's probably the one that's like the most neutral out of all of them. It's the one I like the best anywhere. Got picture format, widescreen, we got full screen, fit to screen, original, and widescreen. I always choose widescreen. Sound style, original, movie, music, game, and I think, yeah, news, expert mode. Hmm. I'm back to original. Audio out, sleep timer, screen off. Picture settings, if you tap into this one, you can actually modify it a bit more on here. What it should do, there you go, you can see it's standard and then vivid. Just kind of give you a bit of a difference between them both. You can change the colour, so you can actually more colour, less colour, contrast, sharpness, brightness. I could go on and on with all the different settings, but I'm not gonna, because you're going to be here for about an hour if I do. Let's go back into there, Samuel. So go back up to settings. All the way across. Now we're going to go to all settings. So as you can see, you've got your picture, sound, network, channels, general settings, universal access, child lock. That's going to be a good one for, for you parents out there. Region and update software. So when I took it out of the box, I did need to do an update. Took about 10, 15 minutes, downloaded it. And it didn't, didn't do a lot, but it seemed to just kind of add a little bit of extra features in terms of the apps. That was pretty cool. So let's go to general settings. So you can format the USB hard drive, USB keyboard, mouse settings, eco settings, easy link, your location, <laughs> you've got your shop settings, input sources, factory settings, and reinstall TV. You know, I could probably go on and on and on with all the different options on here, connecting to Wi Fi, networks, again, different sounds. Where's your TV? It's on a TV stand, it's on a wall. What sound style? Original movie. Again, all the same things, but in a different option here. Auto volume, we've got delta volume, and you can tell here, it tells you on the side here exactly what it's all for. Right, I think all we can really do now is let's go back to Netflix, just because it's the, uh, the, I tell you, it's the default thing on here to try and view stuff on. It is absolutely fan bloody tastic. So let's go up, let's see if we can find something that's going to be good quality. We'll go to it for a minute or two. You know what? Let's go to, right, so let's have a quick look at uh, Jessica Jones. As you can see here, it says HDR signal. That means it's now turned on the HDR setting on the TV. Default, it doesn't have it on. But when it knows it's HDR, such as this, boom, flicks on at the flick of a switch by itself. You don't need to do anything. It does everything itself, which I was like, wow, that's actually pretty damn cool. And again, it's probably not going to come off on camera because I'm recording in 1080p on a 4K TV. But trust me, that picture, fan bloody tastic. Again, I don't want to get hit by copyright, so I'm actually just going to turn it off right now. Right, everyone, that's probably about it. I don't really know what else to show you because it's a telly. Now, some people will talk about like, is this colour there perfect? Is that colour there perfect? Now, I'm not a TV reviewer. It's not something I do as a full-time job. What I can tell you is in terms of like the backlight, is it kind of uniform? It's very uniform. There's a slight, I think it's like a slight one on the right-hand side in terms of it bleeds a little bit, ever so slightly. Now, you can only really see that when it's actually a pure black. Now, I mean completely black like now, you can't see any bleed. Well, I can't see any bleed. It might show on camera a bit better. I'm not too sure. Let's just go back out of there. Let's have a quick scroll up and down. 
just again just to kind of show you how fast it actually is happy days right right everybody that's it and again it's a tv it's a bloody fantastic tv at that though if you do want to pick one up and again i want to say thank you to ao.com uh, appliances online for actually supplying this tv before the review today it is a bloody fantastic tv and i don't know what else to say about it if it was me looking to spend around the seven to nine hundred pound give or take again prices do vary so i will put a link down below then yeah this would definitely be a tv on my radar it's fan bloody tastic i think i've said that a few times now it's not a word i say often anyway people any questions about this or anything else you know what to do by now you can hit me up on a comment down below do not forget to hit me up on twitter at sam j pull on instagram facebook you name it i am there yep you know it oh and finally smash that like button you know you want to and subscribe it's free <laughs> once again thank you for listening to my voice you'll see me okay you never see me but you'll definitely hear me <laughs> in my next video Cheers, everyone. I know. TVs. I don't know how to review them. But I definitely would buy this. Cheers, everyone.